Good afternoon. My name is Danielle Lynette, and welcome to Civil and Topics. Today we have two special guests, one from the north and another from the south. North, please come in. Well, hello. My name is Elizabeth Jane Eyre. So, Elizabeth, may I call you Liz? Sure. Well, I have a few questions up my sleeve. My first one is, what are your views on slavery, and how does it contribute to you? Well, I think slavery is wrong, and everyone should be equal. It's not right that we use them for labor and don't pay any of these, most of them. Ah, very interesting. Very interesting, indeed. So how would you feel if slavery was never abolished? I would feel that all my hard work would be for nothing, but nevertheless, I would continue to help slaves escape from the South. Well, that's good to know. Per perseverance, right? Yeah, I'll never give up. Right. So now we're going on short break. Stay tuned. Hello, and you're back with Civil Insiders. You've just seen what the North has thought about slavery and the Civil War. Now we're going to welcome in Dorothy and Caddy from the South. Hello, Dorothy and Caddy. How are you today? I'm good. That's swell. Now I have a few questions for you. Do you mind me asking them? No problem. Not at all. How strongly do you feel about slavery, and how much does it contribute to you? Well, I like slavery a lot because it helps my family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. When you hear people talk about abolishing slavery, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? What actions would you like to be taken against it? I feel that abolishness of slavery would hurt the, the whole South. I wouldn't want. I would want there to be war. Welcome back. Now we have both of our South and North. Hi, Elizabeth. I have another question for you. Okay. So, when you first heard about the Emancipation Proclamation, Go. what were your first thoughts? My first thoughts were that Abraham Lincoln was doing this right, and it was a greater step for uh, abolishment and slavery. <laughs> that was well said. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, when you first heard about the Emancipation Proclamation, what were your first thoughts? That I don't like it. He's doing nothing good for the South. Nothing good for the South. Okay. How do you feel about Abraham Lincoln being president? Do you think he's pulling our nation apart or putting it together? Well, so, so, uh, Southerners didn't really like it. He's, he's turning our nation apart because um, he's doing for the South at all. And he just put a blockade against his message he was trying to get out to us. Interesting. That's interesting. Um, how do you feel about the firing on Fort Sumter? No, I do not feel scared about the South trying to be their own. I think that we should stay together. <laughs> how do you feel about the firing on Fort Sumter? Were you anxious? have anxiety, scared, happy? I feel that the South finally took the step they needed to take against the Union. Oh, I see. I think that's wrong. I don't think fighting solves anything. What? That's what I think. Uh, ladies, ladies. <laughs> 